it has been a while since we asked a question related to the pandemic as far as how it's impacting production work. Um, when I was doing the research on you, I noticed you had a, a pretty awesome like home setup for a uh, like self auditions and stuff like that with the with the uh, um, curtain behind you and the, the ring light. And um, we're just wondering, um, is that is that still the norm and do you like what direction do you see that going from someone that you know is working regularly it's a great question i you know and i i think for actors that's actually a, a really good question because we all do wonder when we're doing that i think uh, and i've had this conversation with other actors like what's the standard you know because suddenly the self-tape is becoming enormous so mm -hmm. Our initial impulse, of course, is to duplicate the uh, the feeling that we had when we went into a casting office, you know, which is a blue background or a plain background and, you know, some kind of a ring light and the, the thing. And um, yeah, I mean, so I mean, yes, that makes sense to go for the pro forma and, and the convention. Um, but I've talked to some other actors about this, too. And Sometimes because you're not walking into the room with them, because there is something about walking into that room where they're actually right there and you're right there. We get a sense of who one another is, you know, and all of a sudden in the Zoom audition or in the uh, self tape, that's gone. So, I think that it can come a little flat mm -hmm. and I can't say like, I mean, I kind of deliberately uh, set us up here because I thought it was an interesting background. So yeah, beautiful house, by the way, you don't want to, you don't want to overwhelm your own image with what's behind you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I just did one, I, uh, I signed an NDA, so I can't talk about who it was for, but um, did one where I chose that time to go out in my gazebo thing there. And uh, it's got a nice screen and there's all woods behind it. So it kind of makes it look just sort of mottled green behind me. And it was a much kind of, it was a dad role and he was um, a troubled guy and everything. And I think it just, I, I, I ended up, in a room with the director for an hour uh, because of it. Um, and I think that it, it lent its, it would have been flatter with that fucking blue thing behind me. So I don't know. It's a mixed bag. I don't think anybody, if somebody knows the answer of what the perfect self tape is, God love them. I, I don't know. It does add a whole lot more to the dynamic of the audition where it's usually like, you walk in the room, they've, they've, they're set in the environment. Mm. They can make their decision sometimes before you even start doing the lines when you just, yeah. by the way, you introduce yourself, like all that's gone now. And now you're left with all these decisions of how to creatively go about setting yourself apart mm. or just playing it safe. Yeah. It's, it's got to add a different, a, a fun challenge, but a challenge nonetheless. Yeah, to the whole setting process. up their own lights. They were like, oh, I got to get my three point light set yeah. up with this thing. Yeah. Nice. I, did, I didn't want to be a cinematographer. <laughs> that is, speaking, that's a perfect segue. Let me ask you this you've worked on independent productions with low budgets all the way up to Scorsese, from stage to TV to film. What is the best advice you have for expiring actors out there? I know, a loaded question, right? Well, it is a loaded question because number one, I, I, I am reluctant to give advice because I'm, I'm very suspicious of all advice. That would, that would indicate that I felt like I knew something. And I actually think a big part of what I feel the actor's responsibility in being as truthful, speaking of invention of lying, is that we don't know what comes next. We never know. We're in a state of not knowing. And when people start giving advice to actors that comes from a, I know, I think we send them down a weird road. So mm -hmm. the first suggestion that I would have for all actors is be very cautious of all advice because 
really, if a, there's a lot of actors, I, I could make a long list of people that I think have extraordinary careers who broke every frigging rule. And that's why they're doing great. And those yeah. are the actors that I'm most interested in. Uh, and so I think that means there's some, it, there's something that as actors, we are listening to that's within ourselves and yet it's out there too. It's like this weird thing in, in, in finding that, that getting in sync with that. I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it, but that would be the thing that I'd say is just be very, be, be careful of advice and also be careful of making plans. I'm, I'm both a big fan of Mark Twain and I'm a Marxist and Mark Twain said, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And I'm a Marxist in that Groucho Marx said, um, Time wounds all heals. So when you run into people that are giving you grief, you don't have to do anything. Time will get yeah. them for you. You don't have to do anything. That's true. I yeah. like it. All the crime time. So, yeah. so <laughs> reserve, reserve skepticism for, from the advice of others and be uh, and trust your instinct, trust your gut. I've your heard uh, Jay-Z says people will tell you how to do it and they never did it. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, what do you, what do you think? <laughs>